Welcome back. Very short video and one that I keep forgetting to make and I'm pretty sure I explained the blog already about which of your eyes is a dominant eye. And the question keeps coming up. Uh, it's kind of an advanced topic because which is your dominant eye isn't really important until you're kind of further along the vision journey. What I always recommend when you're starting out binocular everything, like focus on both eyes together. No single eye activities, no eye exercises, no patching. If the difference between your left and right eye adopters are noticeable, still the first several steps of reducing your myopia you wanna do with both eyes together, not placing any particular emphasis on dominant or non-dominant. It's really not important. It's really not important until you're well into reducing your myopia and you're having success. Of course, there's lots of cases that this doesn't apply to, but generally speaking, don't worry about single eye, right? Don't worry about which is the dominant eye. That said, usually and a lot of times the dominant eye is the one that has the lower diopter correction, right? If you look at that piece of paper that the retail optometrist gives you with your quote unquote prescription, the lower number is usually dominant eye, usually. But the easiest way to test possible is go like this with your fingers, right? And pick an object that you can put in the middle of this shape, this triangle of your fingers, right? Like just a picture on the wall or whatever the thing may be, and just have that in the center of your fingers like this. And then close the, non the eye that you think is a non-dominant eye. The object in the image should stay in the same spot. Then you do the same thing with the opposite, like close the other eye and that object should move kind of outside of the frame that your fingers make. When that happens, that is a non-dominant eye. That's really the easiest way to tell for sure, more so even than your diopter correction. Very simple, you don't need any specific equipment or anything else, ocular dominance. And if you're curious about ocular dominance and how that's kind of being ignored by retail optometry, I've written about that on myopia.org. You can also go to Google Scholar, type in ocular dominance. It's something that really should be taken into consideration when you get glasses. Your first pair of glasses really should have the same doctor numbers left and right eye. If they don't, it's because the retail optometrist is ignoring the normal fact that one of your eyes is dominant and contributing more to your visual acuity, even though the exact reason for why that's happening in biology is not certainly known. But there you have it for people asking, how do I check ocular dominance or which is my dominant eye? Hopefully helpful. If you like this video, give it some thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. See you in the next one. Meow, 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 meow.